got a uh, he's got some extra stuff pulled out for the vortex. Okay, I think that's punishable, but he didn't go for punish. But that back dash punish is pretty good. Instead. Wow, yeah, that 3K is gonna get a lot of mileage. Um, if you back dash, you're gonna get messed by that 3K. Uh, looks like uh, Pun is actually okay at dealing with the stance from uh, from Kage. Did not get messed by that stance even one time. But 3Ks in general are messing him up. Sidekick class moves in this game are actually really strong. That's why they're so uh, punishable on evade and why they're generally the frames are pretty bad. They're safe on block, but they're they're generally unfavorable. So you know, sidekicks, uh, they do have to have a really large uh, payoff to make up for that. Yeah, look at that. Wow. The second hit's catching on counter a lot. Vanox looking pretty strong. Round three. Oh, I just realized three, I didn't uh, put the stage select on a uh, random each time. So they're going to re rematch on this stage regardless. That's okay. We'll make sure we set that rule before the next match. Alrighty. Looking strong. Get the side. Oh, nice. Uh, unfortunately, he's a little heavier than you might expect. Fun. But that's all right. Hey, nice crush move. There we go. Shout out to Kadokino you Dan. That's the crush move. Round four. Ready, Always good to go. throw your launcher out um, when you feel that your opponent is going to abuse their uh, disadvantage. They're not going to respect. Oh, this is over. If there's one thing Kage is good at, it's ring out. Kage's throw game is actually really good. This character, if you're like a big grapple fan in other games, Kage is actually a very good throw-heavy character. If you're not work looking for straight damage, and you're looking instead for like utility out of the throws, trying to get them close to the wall for big wall combos, Kage has some of the most deadliest wall combos in the game. If you're looking to try and get ring outs and just win straight off the bat, go over walls, like high, uh, low, low walls and uh, mid walls, Kage is really good for that. It's a great, it's a great uh, throw character, actually, with tricky stances as well. A nice back turn. Oh, really good stuff here. That's that ring out immediately. Kage's carry is really strong. Round two. Ready, go. Oh, net. Oh, I think that that's uh, that is actually punishable. But uh, Pun didn't know. That's okay. Oh wow, I got the dragon punch out. That is just frame. That's the easier just frame, but still. And that's the back throw. So it still does respectable damage. So you have to really uh, pay attention and realize that you're going to be risking either a ring out or possibly, you know, 40% or 30% on a throw. Pretty, pretty good mix up for Okage. His stances are good, but he has not been getting a lot of that mileage out of his stance, honestly. Uh, say what you will about what Punch's been up to, uh, but his defense against stances has actually been really good so far. Oh, ah, he doesn't know what his ground scrapes are. Okay, so in situations like that where your opponent falls on the floor, but is not actually knocked down, you can go, you can opt for any move that scrapes against the ground and you will hit them. A lot of mid kicks do this. Uh, a lot of low kicks, like if you do like a 1K, or a 2P, a lot of things like that will actually scrape the ground. So that actually works too. Uh, let me go ahead and I'll just change the the room settings really fast to make sure that the thing is done. Uh, stage, rematch is reselect. And now we're gonna get our next match in. Uh, just wanna make sure that I can see who's up can get follow-ups you can actually have a throw that puts you crouch uh and so you have to guess you have to shoot you into a mix-up situation off the throw he's got some pretty good throws the three p is working out good for him nah you see that's that's one of the other things about um bf is that it's very frame tight you have to play perfectly frame tight if you, you want your punishes to work so at that point, Mac did uh, sidestep something that would have been launch punishable, but because he waited to see if the string was completed, he lost the frame. That happens constantly, and it's a, it's a very big problem for people who are learning VF or even experienced VF players to intermediate. It's really only the experts that have gotten it down to know when they can punish and when they've waited too long, and they just take advantage and go for a, a, a mix-up. 
Nice. Okay. Very good stuff from Mac this time. Yeah, he's looking really dominant here. Oh, that was punishable, but he didn't uh, get punished for it. However, his positioning is really bad. Oh, thank God for him. Mac uh, was actually really playing with fire there. Go near to land launch, or actually, he really could have just landed a, a counter hit 3k and it would have been over. The oh, nah, he went for a back turn and mixed up, but he was way too far away. Uh, see, I was backing off. Uh, normally, in DF, you really do want to pressure your opponent. You want to get in there. If you have frame advantage, you want to take it. If you get the knockdown, you want to run in on them. And now, Mac was playing really passively, and you could see it really got him into a bad situation there. Uh, the minute he let Aztec get back in, all that advantage he had from pushing him to the wall, it meant nothing. DF is very much about momentum, and it's very much about... Um, keeping the pressure on, making sure that your execution is tight and that you're able to uh, commit when you need to. All right, very good. So it looks like we got that. That was, uh, that was Aztec too, right? Yep. Oh, it's Aztec. Oh, the grab that keeps whipping Outworld Television? That's actually a, I believe, if I remember correctly, that what what it was that he was doing that is the Sukami which is a special grab that uh, Sabaki punches high punches and mid punches and uh, it also puts them into a clinch that he could go three ways I believe that that is what he was doing there alright let's take a look really fast at what our next match is going to be in our top 8 right now uh, it looks like we could do crazy drums versus oh shit yeah. Crazy Dunk versus Tricky. Uh, I would have said this is Grand Finals, so we're going to get a preview here, maybe, if my prediction is correct, of Grand Finals. So this is this is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, let me get at... All right, so so real fast, while Harpooner gets the next match in there, you know, be a perfect time for me to uh, shill the match arena. Um, guys, we still have 61 codes left. We're at two hundred ten dollars and ninety cents. Thank you so much for the support. Oh hell yeah! Make sure to hit up the uh, sponsor quest. Um, so we got the Red Cross, we got Lucid Sound, we got Matcharino, we got G Fuel, we got Twitch Quest, we got Twitter Quest, we got YouTube Quest. Tons of free ways for you guys to donate to this tournament and help these players out. And uh, once again, shout out to Vortex Gallery for uh, having us here. Shout out to Harpooner always. You're kind of like you're, you're kind of like the voice of VF at this point. You and Harpooner. Hey man. I, mean, That's you, what I, I hear. said you and Harpooner. I said you and Shidosha. I meant to say you and Shidosha. <laughs> Yo, the minute I'm in the the minute I'm in the same category as Shidosha, I know I'm doing something right. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's right. All right, very good. So it's actually looking like we're getting everybody in. We've got Bannock, a.k.a. Crazy Drunk, in already. He pulled the big guns out. He saw Tricky's name on the list. He said, I'm not playing around with Kage today. Are you kidding me? Not, not, with, not against Tricky. Can't have it. And there we go. Tricky not, a.k.a. Tricky, with his Eileen. The Eileen of America. Uh, let me see. All right. All right, here we go. Tricky and crazy drunk, I see. All right, here we go. Oh, and we're back at the training level. Very good. Uh, oh, we did switch gates on her. Let's go. But uh, here we go. Bannock with the uh, fox mask. I like it. Okay, immediately going for the shifty low stuff. Uh, is tricky. So these two characters are both very annoying, mix-up focused, and strange characters with different rule sets from the rest of the cast. Uh, Eileen, just as a quick primer, Eileen's strangeness comes from cancel moves. She actually behaves a lot like a 2D game character, where she can cancel certain parts of certain strings into special moves that it, it, it's actually almost like you're playing like Street Fighter in a way, only a lot more limited because only certain things do it. That being said, they're really strong, and they give her guaranteed mix-up. Uh, Shun, you might notice he has a little gourd icon under his health bar. That's his drink vanity bar, and uh, that's his drink number. He has to drink during the match to get high amounts of drinks. They unlock different moves for him, and each drink that he gives 
gives him, I believe, 0.4% more damage. So it's not that much, but eventually, if he gets like 15, 20 drinks, you're feeling it, and you're getting hurt for a lot more. Uh, it even gives him slightly better frames on recovery, but it, the numbers have to be really high for that. Um, Nun also has stances. Uh, Eileen has a couple of stances, but most of the time they function the same as cancels. Uh, from an observer standpoint, it's fine to just think of them as all being canceled, even though some of them have different properties. All right, there's a launch. Another thing that's very important to keep track about uh, tricky gameplay is it high reliance on crush moves. Crush moves uh, are really powerful in BF because the hit levels are very, uh, the, they're really something that no character can get around. Every character has good highs. I mean, highs by their very nature have great frames. They're usually much faster than mids. They usually have better frames on block than mids. Uh, but, of course, you can go under them. And Eileen actually has high crush launchers. And she has a few high crush launchers. At, or high crush knockdowns. And definitely one that causes really good damage on Shun because of his light weight. She also has incredibly good low crush launchers. It, she has two of them that are just straight up insane. Her 9 pull, which is her standard launch, it, it goes over uh, lows when she has frame advantage, which is most of the time when you'd be crushing a low anyway. And also her 9 P, which is actually safe on block and really difficult to evade because it hits twice. I know I've been spending the entirety of that first game telling you these characters, but because of the caliber of both these players, I'm confident that you guys are going to be seeing both of them a few times tonight, no matter who loses. So it's important to kind of keep that stuff in mind. Let's go. All right, very good. Tricky is getting the uh, wall pressure going. Oh, nice block on this egg slip. Unfortunately, he went. Uh, he got crushed. Nice. Okay, 2P to go under. Ah, he's really relying on that stance. So one of the things about uh, Sun is that he can cancel a lot of his moves into laydown stance. Uh, most of the time he does that to preserve rings because if he doesn't move that knocks himself down, he'll lose one ring. Um, but if the move is blocked and he goes into laydown stance, he actually has significant disadvantage and usually he can be, he can be punished. A, a player like Tricky is not going to let that slide. All right, see, he immediately did not even hit check. He didn't even go into laydown stance there. He could have been fine on that headbutt, but he couldn't go into laydown stance just because of how many times he was punished before. All right, Tricky's looking really strong here. Round four. Ready, go. All right, here we go. Nice. That's uh, that's uh, Shun's low crush. It's a pretty strong low crush launch, actually. Oh, nice. Oh, unfortunately, just a little off axis. I believe that actually works on Eileen, but she needs to have her, her top leg needs to be here. Foot position is really important in BS. Uh, it's difficult to check, but a lot of these uh, the higher end players, they check foot position off. Uh, it's one of those things that separates an expert from an intermediate. Okay, it looks like Tricky did take that. Very good. But Crazy Drunk is not out of this yet. You will see him um, in Losers, Matt. Losers. In fact, uh, we are about to enter our first Losers match, which is going to be... Oh, uh... Hmm. Okay. So, I just need to make sure that our pools cleared out. Because we're waiting on one player from pools. One match from pools. Before our Losers match. Loser's top eight is complete. Because right now, Incident is waiting in the wings for his challenger, who will be the loser of JVN1. Which, if we look at Smash, we will see is... Sorry, guys. I'm actually pretty new at Smash. I don't really look at Smash <laughs> too much. So I got to learn how to do this. Um, but it looks like it's Puns and Taki Tanfa. So whoever is the winner of Puns and Taki Tanfa is going to be in our next match that we watch, which will be fighting against um, Kowtow Robinson, if I'm correct. I just want to double check that. Yeah. Oh, no, not Kowtow Robinson. Incident. Sorry, guys. So they're going to be fighting Incident. Oh, that's so cool. Incident. Fellow member of the Jeffrey Army, 
Real happy about that. I'm actually going to get him in here while we're waiting for the next uh, fighter. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to get him in. All right, cool. And in the meantime, uh, we're going to be waiting on the winner of that other, that final pools match between Taki Tomfa and Puns. So, I'm the timing. Ready, um, if go. Puns is experienced enough to know that. If he's not, then, you know, you may not even notice. So that's another thing. Whoa, he didn't stagger that? Okay, you gotta learn your staggers, guys. When you see that uh, shaking joystick on the screen, that means that you're able to stagger. And when the joystick's ball top turns red, that means that the staggers can be broken at that point. You can be matching your inputs, and as long as the ball top turns, stays green, you can't break out. But when it turns red, it's a set amount of time based on which move stagger you. Um, you can break out, and they definitely you could have broke out before the, the, the launch there. Oh, okay, he's going for the 6 PP. It was punishable, but he didn't. Ah, that's the second one of these that he's got. Oh, unoptimal wall combo, but it's still a lot of damage. Okay, that's that. There's that pound. I love it. Okay, plus three. Yeah, there we go. Plus one. Sorry. I thought she was Eileen for a second. Eileen has the better version of that Superman punch. Not only is it a mid instead of a high, but it also is plus three instead of plus one. But that's okay. Vanessa doesn't need it. She's got all the style factor. Okay, shoulder. Ah, but Incident is good at staggering. You can see that right there. Oh, punish? No, he didn't punish again. Okay, nice side turn punish. Oh, that second hit is low. Oh, okay, that should be it. Ah! Let's go. I'm moving for puns right now. Come on. I know it's just my homie and he's in the Jeffrey Army, but I'm moving for puns. He, he did a lot of work so far in this match. Okay, there you go. Yeah, Incident was like staying really far back, not not running in, and then that, that was pretty much concealed it. Jeffrey normally can play the distance game really well, but you know, with that, without a life lead, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't like go back and forth. I would just look for an opportunity to get in and try a 50-50 to wait to the victory. Remember, VF is all about 50-50. You just get frame advantage and then it's mid-throw mix-up. That's it. That's the whole game. All right, here we go. Ooh, nice. That crushes. Okay, plus. Yeah, okay. Didn't finish the string, I think. Nice, good stuff from Punk. be dead all right here we go let's see what stage we're gonna get now could make a difference oh taco mania it's taco tuesdays tonight this used to be a blue the blue taco stage i was about to say uh cool ranch but the walls do look reddish i'll show you i am on it's unfortunately not as blue as it used to be in final showdown but taco stages are disgusting for most characters a lot of characters can really do a lot of damage. You might notice that the walls are awfully close from that starting position. Yes, they are. You're already at the walls there. And wall combos in this game are filthy. Now, oh, I'm no longer in threat of wall. Well, guess what? You're in threat of ring out because this is still a small stage and the little tube at the end opens up. These stages are deadly. And in fact, most people who are less comfortable with wall combos, less comfortable with infighting, hate these stages. Uh, the go. true experts uh, do love these stages or hate them and then still are able to make it work. But if you look at a guy like Tricky, for example, he absolutely loves these stages. Okay, we get a wall combo. Ah, he didn't go for it. It's okay. He got a headbutt instead, got a stomp. Jeffrey can actually do a half-life wall combo to you off of that throw. Round three. All right, here we go. Round three. What do we got? Oh, he's going for a threat stance mix up, but it doesn't work out so hot for him. Side turn, so that should be safe. But he got, but he was plus, and you can see that red flash. That's a counter hit. So you got the red. Oh, wow! He knew which direction to evade. That's unblockable. It charges all the way. But you have to. You can evade it in the right direction. Very good stuff from Punch. Even though he lost this 
even though he lost that uh that game i will tell you that was actually a really good defense for him uh in that last round nothing to be ashamed of there all right and then this will be our last match we're on the raft stage so this is a big stage, 16 by 16. That's, I think, the biggest size that we've got. Don't think that we go up to 18, but you maybe we do. Uh, this is a big stage regardless. And uh, it is a ring out stage. You can take a bath on this stage and it will lose you the round. But the nice size of it will actually probably work out very well for incident if you want to play that spacing game oh okay doesn't get a complete combo there but it's still pretty good nice the launch don't abari against me sir oh there you go do you like the sidestep well there you go here's a full circular full circulars in this game are really powerful they do counter hit damage against you if you're sidestepping when you get hit and that one can do it to 65 damage uh, as reference, that is usually that is more damage than that combo. Thing. That is usually a full combo for most characters. 65. So that, the trade-off, of course, is it is a high, and if people cancel their evade with a crouch dash, they can actually go under it and launch it. So you have to know what you're doing when you want to use that. Ready, go! Oh, nice. Going for a laydown stance. It seldomly works out against Jeff. Jeff is actually really good against uh, that laydown stance specifically. Yeah, he has all the tools in the world to defeat that laydown stance. I would stay away from it if I was a uh, punk. That, 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 there's not a ton of things in BF that are very matchup specific, but that laydown stance, I think you really have to know what your opponent's options are, and Jeff has amazing options. Okay, nice sidestep, but that uh, string has built in the way. Oh, it's looking really good for Punk right now. Okay, but this is all the momentum that Incident needs. Oh, he backs off, though! Okay, okay, still looking good. He gets a combo. Ooh, step on him. What do we got? Yeah, step it, run in this time. Run in 3K is, is fantastic for Jeff. Um, if they commit to any action other than block or evade, you will take that. Um, that 3K reaches so far. So Instant does take it. Good work from him. Great stuff from Puns, though. I do appreciate um, having him come out and did make it look good. Uh, right now, I would move on to our next, our loser's quarterfinal, which is going to be Crazy Drunk and Kowtow Robinson. I'll bring them in right now. And we will be ready to go in a moment. Right, and Incident is going to be fighting Mac after that. So that's going to be pretty interesting. We already know who his opponent is going to be. Everything's looking good, guys. Well, all right, guys. So, gonna blow yeah, up the match well, we're for a second. It's a good time. Yeah, it's a good time to show, guys. All right, so let me click refresh. It's the match arena page. Let's see where we're at, guys. We're doing great. We're at two twenty-three, two hundred twenty-three dollars right now. But we need you guys to match those promo codes. There's still fifty-four codes left in this event, and you definitely got to make sure, like, you milk all the match arena money. Or as much as possible, guys, because you make this platform for, for TOs the milk. So, yeah, cl click the uh, claim code. Click the uh, sponsor quest on the right-hand side from Lucid Sound, Matcherino, G Fuel Energy. We got Twitch quests. We got Twitter quests. We got YouTube quests. Make sure to right-click the dots for all that free sponsor money. And shout out to the top five donors, Double Ray 100, Josh 50, Mac $26. Uh, anybody that subscribes today will throw in a dollar to the Matcherino. So, thank you guys for supporting me as well as this event. And, you know, shout out to Harpooner for uh, being here once again. Looks like they're ready, huh? Cow -tow and, uh, oh, yeah. Looks like they're ready up. Okay. We are good to go. All right. Looking good. Here we are. Okay, so Crazy Drunk 
is actually going with Leifei tonight. So this is the third character we've seen already, but Leifei is his secondary for real. Uh, it's almost as it's almost as good as the Shun. I would say it's like really kisses the Shun, like they're almost exactly the same. So very strong. Uh, we are also looking at Kao Tao being with uh, what do you call him? Lao. Lao's a really good character, especially on these wall stages. Um, but you know, we have to see it happen. Uh, one of Lao's big problems is that his, his, his counter hit game is not amazing. He doesn't have a great counter hit launch. And he also, his punish game is a little lacking. But you can see that he just has amazing neutral. Like, he, he still took that round just from a few really good experiences. His, his crush game is really good. His uh, mids are really strong. He has high, he has high strings, but they fail, so you can't duck under them. Uh, and he also has really, really, really solid um, frame advantage. Look at that, really good throw there. Great pressure from Robinson. I was really excited to see him. I haven't played against him in a really long time. Um, and so I was, I was excited to see him tonight. And he's not disappointed. Yeah, there he was really minus there, so he did, he did keep that counter hit. And I'm going back turn. Going for stance shenanigans. Leifei, a very stance heavy character. There are seven stances that Leifei has. They all have different properties and different moves. That being said, for the most part, stances in Virtual Fighter really suck. In neutral, stances are really bad because you cannot block at all in a stance. And blocking will cancel the stance. It also takes frame. So you're really, really met negative if you do a stance and you're not entering it with some kind of blocks. Um, Certain stances, there are exceptions. Uh, Lefe has one good stance for that where it's blocking all punches, including low punch. But even so, you know, it's it's not that hard to just poke with kicks when you expect he's gonna go into that stance. The neutrals neutral uh, game really is not friendly to stances in yet. But Vanna switched away from that stance in style and you can see that he just you know, ducks ducks under highs, punishes Great hits, um, counter hits, get some damage in, get some plus range and moves from there. It's all just mid so far from uh, Bana. Really good stuff. Robinson trying to put that pressure on. That actually got him two games with just heavy pressure. Oh, unfortunate. So that uh, was guaranteed after that throw on. I think he just didn't buff for it fast enough. Oh, nice. The low option. The low option's actually pretty good there. Oh, wow. Oh, that is my punishment. But he didn't get it. There's a guard break. And with side turn, he does get the launch. Good stuff from Banna. AKA Crazy Drunk. Another wall stage. This is actually, I believe, the exact same dimension. Only the last wall stage did have breakable walls. Uh, walls in VF only break at the end of the round. So if you kill somebody with a move that knocks them into the wall, or if after they're dead you hit them into the wall with specific moves, you can break those. Uh, you can break those walls. This one doesn't break. It looks like the walls should break, but they don't. Uh, but other than that, it's functionally exactly the same stage. Uh, so not gonna be. But Robinson's pressure specifically and his his aggression really sealed him a lot of uh, favor favorable situations in the last. Yo, what's up, brother? We still here? Uh, 
Oh, oh, hey, what's up? I can't hear you at the moment. Like, my cables fucking died. Alright, give me a sec. Go right back. Hey guys, uh, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, can you guys hear me? I know everything's okay. Sorry about that, guys. All right, excellent. And we're getting them in. Once they're in, they're gonna start, and we're gonna get going. So Mac did play pretty good today, and Incident was playing really well. And uh, Incident's play, by the way, was very good uh, at showing exactly uh what's going on with um exactly what's going on with uh a returning player or or a veteran player or like somebody who even even a newer player who wants to like do simple combos because incidents combos were not optimized at all he still won that match no problem you don't have to have perfect combos to win your matches in this game it's very important that you know, your fundamentals are solid. So if you're looking for a game that's going to challenge you on fundamentals, but, you know, you don't need to have, like, crazy execution, VF is actually really that game. I mean, honestly, the buffer window alone can be a challenge, but also it can be a benefit to players who are a little nervous about execution in games. There's a 10-frame buffer window in this game, and if you're not sure what that means, it means if you're blocking something, if you're blocking a move, you can input your next move up to 10 frames before your block animation ends, and it will come out on the first possible frame. Everything is reversal timing in DF. It's crazy. So you don't have to time your button presses very good at all. Instead, you have to buffer properly. If you, for example, wait until that 10 frame window is closed, if you do it on frame zero, you actually will not get the frame advantage that you were supposed to get because you didn't buffer. So on the one hand, the game is very forgiving, but on the other hand, if you don't play within that forgiving system, if you're not buffering, you actually will get, uh, you will not have frame advantage when you really should. You could be plus five, and you could turn that into a plus one by not buffering properly. And that will get you counter hit when you should, when you should have gotten the hit instead. Uh, so it is important to have solid fundamentals. But again, like I said, execution is not really important. But quick thinking is, you have to be pushing the button that you want to push as early as possible. So you have to have already made the decision. Nice. From Infinite. Even with that, even with that combo, did you see? That was a simple combo. That was an easy combo. I'll tell you something right now. You guys go into training mode, 10 minutes, you'll have that combo down. And it did so much damage. That combo was amazing. I love that combo. I did that combo for like seven years straight. That was the only combo I knew how to do it yet. All right, here we go. Nice block, and yes, he did go for a punish. Excellent. Okay, Mac didn't block, but unfortunately, instant. Does it, that's one of the situations where the combo knowledge does need to come in. He did need to do a standing punch there first before he went for the 6 6 PP. Round three. Ready? Oh, I fixed machine in the chat, in the chat, baby. What up, Hiya boy? Hiya is chilling. 
You see mad names of these guys. Incident, remember Incident was from NYG9, bro. He showed up. Yeah, uh, Bonzi, the game has not changed at all. This is actually exactly the same game as his final showdown. Uh, any differences are mostly cosmetic. There may be a couple of weird, um, you know, the way the game is processed differences, but they don't really affect gameplay to the point where you could be playing FS one second and just turn around and play uh, Ultimate Showdown, and it's the same game pretty much, just with a new coat of paint, and it's on a uh, current platform is really the big point because remember if this game was not on ps4 none of y'all guys would be playing it who wants to pull out the xbox 360 to play this game right now nobody so we're really happy for this game just because even though it's the same game we just want people to play it all right nice mac is going in with the lows ah yeah that should actually work I think that that was a perfect punish from incident there unfortunately he didn't make anything happen with it but I believe that that move is actually minus 16. So that was actually the exact punish. Round two. Yeah, it did change a lot between Vanilla and Final Showdown. There was an entire game in between that we didn't get. Uh, that was Japan only called 5R, which a lot of people do want. But I've got to tell you, uh, New York has it. We have an arcade cabinet of it or the arcade machine of it. And I will tell you, it's very weird. It's very different. A lot of the things people don't like about FS are in 5R. So I don't know if that would really make people super jazz okay max looking really good here i think max plays a little bit more often than incident so he's definitely uh that experience level is showing but incident should be feeling pretty good because he's on top eight already all right nice and his timing actually has been really good incident's timing his move choice has been great he's just gone with the neat ah unfortunately a little slow but that should have been the, the punish Nice, the butt, that is unblockable. And he got a counter hit on it. So that butt is unblockable. You ha it's a high though, you have to duck underneath of it. Or you can evade it. Sidestep in DS is very powerful. Some people think that in the newer games, like uh, 5R and, and FS, FS especially, but sidestep is a little too powerful. Not too powerful, like it's all oh, ridiculous how powerful it is. But it's, it's much more powerful than it was in the earlier games. So step is good. Oh no, unfortunately, I think the buffer was off there. After that should be enough. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so that's Mac taking it. That should be 2 0 right there. If I'm correct. And did we see Crazy Drunk versus Robinson already? I feel like we did, right? I just, uh, the bracket is not, I think we can run Aztec versus Tricky now. I just want to double check. Uh, it doesn't look like, yeah, it doesn't look like the bracket is up to date, but I'm pretty sure you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure we saw Crazy Drunk versus Robinson and Crazy Drunk did win. Um, so... I want to run winners now. Oh yeah, and then while, while, while we get a chance, show the match right now and uh, show yeah. some of the artwork that they're going to be winning for this tournament. Alright guys, anyway, apologies for the audio issues earlier. My cable will be going haywire, but should be okay now. Anyway guys, exclamation point match Reno. Check out the match Reno page. We still have 54 codes left um, to use, so please you have a second, log in, Via your Twitch ID and use those codes and help out the tournament. Click the sponsor quest as well if you want to donate even more for free. Anybody that subscribes to this channel uh, will definitely throw in one dollar to the match right now. So uh, thank you for supporting Vortex Gallery, Virtual Fighter, and myself. I'm sitting here and watching. Um, also, guys, just want to shout out some of these slides. Anyway, uh, Vortex Gallery. It's a huge event, all online. You can check, check out all the info at vortexgallery.moe. Check them out on Twitter at 956productions. And uh, here's some of the slides that they show me. They also have a merchandise store completely on Matcharino. That's at 956pro.com forward slash Matcharino. 
I got tons of merchandise for you right there. So make sure to check out the store. Also, Vortex is having a Guilty Gear Strive Tournament. That's October 2nd to the 3rd. 512 player cap. And it's at 2 p.m. Pacific, October 2nd through the 3rd. Also, guys, uh, have a, like a multi butt exhibition coming soon. Make sure you check it out. It's October 1st, 8 p.m. And those are the lineups of players, so uh, make sure you check them out. Also, um, also the winner of uh, Vortex Gallery is going to be receiving this uh, custom art. Let me show it on stream right now. And blow it up for y'all. There you go. Yeah, so the, the winner of this tournament will be receiving some custom custom artwork. And the person that made it is Goimon Sama. Sorry if I mangled your name, but uh here's your Twitter, you can check him out and follow him at Goimon Sama One on Twitter, twitter.com, Goimon Sama One. I'll also link it in the chat for you guys. Anyway, thank you guys for supporting the event. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Looking real good. Now we're just waiting on Tricky right now. Once we get Tricky in, uh, we are ready to do our winner's finals match. There's going to be three out of five. It's our winner's finals. It's Aztec versus Tricky. Uh, then we're going to move down to our loser's bracket where we have... Um, I don't feel like Crazy Drunk versus Robinson happened. I have to double check. Uh, I'll double check into Discord while we're doing this. I don't know. Am I crazy? I, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, oh, winner's finals? I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they're telling me in the Discord that they played, yeah. I know I saw it. Yeah, it was too well, okay. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. Excellent. So now they're going to play it out. We got Tricky and Aztec going. All right. Yep, this is a three out of five. The score should it's already set. Oh, loser's semis is three out of five? Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I'm glad we didn't run that yet. That's actually something I didn't see. Okay. It looks like I'm not in, so I'm just going to watch your stream on Discord, Art. Oh, all right. So if, if, if I miss something, it's because it's because of the Discord stream, guys. That's why. Also, if I sound a little weird, it's because a fan is blowing on my face now because I turned. But don't worry about it. I think I'm I think I'm in the right spot. So Tricky's got him by the wall, but there's a very low life, but it doesn't really matter because then can throw. Now there's one hit. Uh there it is. Wow, he risked it all. He risked it for the biscuit over there. That move was minus fifteen on block. So he just was praying that Aztec was gonna push him, and he did. Alright, Aztec is plus frame, but yeah, Tricky's evading. Tricky loves to evade when he's minus. He's big on that. So throwing Tricky is actually a pretty good strat. But Tricky wants you to throw him so he can throw out those big launches. Let's find out what's up. All right, going for the cancel move. Yep, nice conversion. Really good play from Tricky here. I'm not surprised. Tricky's actually really one of the most studied players. He, he, he studies the game a lot. He has flow charts and shit. He has, does like math and stuff. He's a little freak about the game. He loves it. He loves it so much. All right, here we go, though. Aztec, Aztec's been impressing me tonight, though. Oh, nice. He gets a wall grab. That's good. We love that wall grab. Oh, wow. Lots of 9Ks, but the thing is, even though that move is very punishable, if your side turn, uh, the frames change a lot. Uh, so it actually becomes way less punishable. I don't know if Aztec knows the frames to punish it from side turn. It is minus 13 side turn, so PK would work. But I'm not sure that he knows that. Um, oh, no, minus 12. Sorry. PK would work, though. But I don't know if he knows that. All right. Here we are. Let's see if I watch the next. 
Hopefully the next match will show for me. Ah, it still says I'm in the other match. Round one. Ready? Go! Wow, okay, so on my in my room I'm watching last match. So I have to watch your stream again. Sorry, Art. Alright, here we go. We're at the waterfall stage. This is an octagon stage. Is that our first octagon stage of the night? Uh, octagons are actually pretty interesting because you might think that this means that you're going to get a lot of wall combos, and you kind of are, but at the same time, wall combos on octagon stages tend to be pretty difficult. Because if you hit the wall at a different angle than just straight on, and you can see that that's very possible in octagon stages, it changes up uh, what your combo options might be. So, octagon stages, they tend to punish certain characters that are really good at wall combos otherwise. And some characters, it doesn't really affect at all. Eileen is actually one of those characters that kind of doesn't really get that affected. It's usually just her ender thing. Alright, nice. Good stuff. Come on, Aztec. You can fight this out. Now, notice how Aztec... Oh, good stuff. Confirming into the grab. Notice how Aztec is playing the opposite of a lot of what we were seeing before. Oh, unsafe though. But he was playing a lot of the uh, of the opposite of what was before. He is not backing off, not people down. He's getting in their face, pressuring them. Really good. And oh, nice. Okay, gets it. Oh, didn't break that time. That's a three-way guess, or I think it might even be a five-way guess. Okay. Oh, he thought he might hit the wall, but those octagons messed him up. Now he's got a wall combo. It's got to be modified though. Nice. Breaks the, uh, gets out of the throw with a barre. Remember, if you suspect a throw is coming in BF, you can actually just attack through it because attacks will always be throws. Aztec played really well there, even though he did lose. Tricky is just kind of that mountain for a lot of players, myself included. I always have difficulty playing Tricky. Uh, whenever he comes across, I'm, I'm like, what, what am I doing with this guy? It's very difficult. But uh, I will tell you, he's a, he's a mountain to be climbed, and it's very difficult to get over that hill. Round one. Ready, go! All right, here we go. We're in the other octagon stage. So this is going to effectively be the exact same stage, only the other thing about... Oh, right. Well, never mind. I was gonna say the thing about this uh, this stage is that excitement and invigoration are offered to all men, but that's not actually the case Round anymore. You use those scrolling Ready, banners used to go. just be that phrase over and over again, but now yeah, we got sea muscle, whatever the hell that is. Uh, but that's good. Okay, Zank flip into the grab. There are three or four options out of that Zank flip. It's very very annoying. Uh, a lot of times you're actually plus enough to punch her out of it. The only problem is you just you have to recognize it early enough. No. Nice, 3 and that's it. Okay, great, awesome. Good good work recognizing by Aztec that because of his full position, he pushed her into the wall so you get an extra hit. Great work by Aztec. Aztec is really impressing me right now. His presence of mind is really high. He's able to immediately uh, adapt to the situations that you see happen on the screen. Nice, going for the grab. Uh, it's three-way, that's actually five-way. Tricky did break it. Well, he went for it, but because of the wall, he didn't get the stagger. That's oh, he, he messed up. So Aztec had a guaranteed punish there. Unfortunately, I think he picked an option that was a little too slow, and he definitely did not buffer. You can see that he that she already was starting to recover by the time that it, the move came out. I think that in a real in an ideal world, that move would have connected, but didn't buffer. Here we go. Nice shoulder to go under. But Tricky's actually gotten a lot better at staggers. Tricky's a hitbox player. Uh, cheap box player. Fellow cheap box player. I have learned, I have joined the cheap box nation myself. Uh, so I can't badmouth him too much. Uh, but I will tell you that uh, staggering is a challenge on cheap box. Even if you're really good at it. Um, it, it can be a challenge. It's, it's not hard. But because of the way that the inputs work on uh, VF. Uh, if you just use your left hand. You're very likely to nullify a lot of your inputs um, so it's kind of interesting i've developed a method to use two hands use your right and left hand to alternate between two directions talked to tricky about it recently and his stagger has been getting better i don't know if he's doing that or if he just listened to our conversation and and changed the way that he was doing it with one hand but his stagger has gotten a lot better
All right, there you go. And Tricky takes it. So the, the loser semis match is also going to be three out of five. So I don't even need to change room settings here. It's going to be tr Crazy Drunk versus Mac. So I'm going to get these guys in. Let me get these guys in. And while we're getting them in... Uh, just reminding you guys, Vortex is still going on for the rest of the weekend. And all the other weekends in September, we have one more weekend, I think, to go after. So there's a lot going on in Vortex Gallery. If you have not been uh, checking out Vortex in the past and this year it looked really crazy to you, definitely check it out for next year. You can tell these guys are around for a while because they used to be called Animevo or Anime Evo, whatever it is. And when Evo uh, got bought by Sony, you know, they had to change that. But they, you know, they didn't give up. They made their own event again. Uh, Vortex Gallery is here, and you can tell they're here to stay. It's actually a very cool, uh, very cool series here. I'm looking through it. I, I honestly knew that there was a lot of tournaments, but I didn't realize there was this many. And it really has, like, almost every game represented. Very cool stuff. Uh, I think majority, uh, I think it's, like, majority West Coast guys running it, but... That being said, a lot of East Coast guys joined up. You could tell just from uh, the turnout tonight. BF's always been kind of an East Coast game, but, like, there's a lot of East Coast players tonight. So, no matter where you're from, check out Vortex. If you're interested in next week's uh, next week's tournaments, you can still enter them, I think, now. I think you still have all week to enter. Um, so, definitely cool stuff. All right, let's see. What do we got? Oh shit, we got Cruz in the chat. I want to get offline wax, Cruz. This weekend did not work out for me, but next weekend sounds like a plan if that's where you're going. All right, so we have Banach, aka Crazy Drunk, versus Mac, Pi versus Shun. Uh, it's going to be starting on the taco stage. Now, this is the nacho cheese taco right here. That's right. Nacho cheese Dorito Loco taco right here. We got the red taco stage coming in hot. Boom, boom, boom. It's the same size. It looks a little bigger. That's just because the floor is a different color. For some reason, it looks different. Nice. I really am expecting some great stuff out of Crazy Drunk during this match because Pi is pretty light. And one of the cool things about Crazy Drunk is his combos are really, really good. So, lightweight characters, he looks like a boss playing it. Match been no slouch though, and uh, one important thing to bring up about that is Pi is actually really good against uh, Shun. I think that she's got a lot of sober moves. That move in particular, her little chummy uh, two hand palm moves, that actually is one of the fastest. It is the fastest mid in the game at 12 frames, and it takes a drink off. It's pretty good to use. Round three. Crazy Drunk is ridiculous, though, and at 15 frames, he's almost at uh, 15 frames, 15 drinks. He's almost at that point where you can uh, say, uh-oh, uh, this is almost insurmountable. Once you get to, like, 20 drinks with Shun, it's really difficult uh, to lose. And so it's possible, but people have to really adjust their gameplay style against you in a way that most people are not comfortable with. So usually... You do pretty good for yourself if you get 20 drinks uh, with Shun. He did take it. This is going to be a big a big change in momentum because of the big cha stage change. All of a sudden, we went to the 10 by 10. You might say, oh, 10 by 10, that's still pretty small. We've been on 16 by 16. But 10 by 10 is a lot bigger than a taco stage, especially because it gives you a lot more room to maneuver to the side. You don't have to worry about um, getting rung out, especially without the breakable walls. That's going to stay constant. You're never going to have to worry about getting rung out on this stage, and you can feel free to evade a lot, a lot more. Backdash a little bit or get, or get block a few things and get pressured. Oh, that's going to be a big one. Yeah. Crazy Drunk looking really good. Not even going for drinks right now. There it is, because that's the thing. If Shun wins a round, he can get drinks at the end of the round. Uh, by either hitting you with specific moves or by just taking the drinks. Nice block, yeah. That's pretty bad. Ten drinks is really rough. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Back turn, so you have to change your combo. 
One of the weird things about VF is that uh, if you play Tekken and like other 3D games, a lot of times when you hit them in the back, you get more damage, right? Because uh, it's it's unblockable. There's no way that they can do anything. You can do whatever you want. In VF, that's sort of the same, except that usually because of the way that they fall down, you uh, do a less damaging combo. So. But Crazy Drunk didn't let that bother him. He's already well on his way to taking this game. He has 13 drinks. That's it, yeah. Stun also one of the only characters in the game that, like, he has bad elbows. Like, his elbow class moves are slower than everybody else. His, his real, his 14 frame elbow is actually a low. It's a special low. So any character with a good low crush can really mess with him. All right, we're on 12 by 12 now. This is a slightly bigger, but it has breakable walls. Um, but his other elbows are all 15 frames where everybody else's are 14. So as a result, he actually has really good lows. And you can see in that last round, uh, Shun got away with doing uh, the double low kick two times. So his lows are really good. And that's usually because his, that, that's really just because his mids are not amazing. Nice, going for that. Nice, good stuff. Kind of hit launch into the wall. Lots of damage. This should be enough. Oh, but he actually didn't go for kill. He went for drinks, which pays off for him because now he has 11. Wow. Round two. Ready, go. All right, the back throw. This is the thing. When Shun has 10 drinks, he gets that back throw, which uh, means that he now has heavy drinks, uh, a lot of drinks on forward throws and back throws. It can actually be really difficult once he gets 10 drinks to keep his drink number low because any throw that he does has the possibility of giving him four drinks. Now he's at 18. Pretty good. At this point, he has access to a low launcher, and it will still... Uh, the low launcher costs five drinks, so he'll still have access to all his moves at this point if he does for the low launch. There it is. There's the low launch. Into the wall. Actually, just a little bit wrong spacing. He would have had it there. But it doesn't matter. Uh, Crazy Drunk does take it. And he's looking good. He's hot right now. He's going to stay in because... I think that he's gonna stay in yet because he has to fight Aztec. All right, so I'll get Aztec up, oh, but I think he left. That's okay, I'll get him back. Okay, Crazy Drunk has to run the gauntlet now. He has to beat Aztec if he wants to get a shot at Tricky again. So he's got to play straight through. All right, we're going to get him back in, baby. All right. Crazy Drunk is in. Aztec is coming. Both these guys lost to Tricky. They want to get their rematch. They want to get back in on Tricky. I honestly think that Crazy Drunk in his prime, when he's really worked up and he knows what he's doing and he's in great shape and he's feeling good and he's mentally up there, I think he could take Tricky. It's very difficult, though. I think he has no problem doing it if, if he's at peak. But it's difficult to be peak. Tricky's just studied so much, he's practiced and drilled so much shit into his hands that you just have to like, you just have to guess sometimes in situations where normally you can try to go for a setup. It's, it's very difficult to play, but I think that he has a chance. Uh, Aztec, I think also, similarly, he could he can make something happen. But both these guys will have to fight through each other to make that work. And I know they both want a shot at Tricky again. Let's see what's up. Let me, let me get these guys up. 
Oh, yo, oh, we just got the host from Obama. Oh, oh good shit. shit. Thanks, Obama. See, man, see, man uh, we, we paying them good Ds. They be coming forward, bro. Like, they, right. uh, Yo, bro, like, so, so check this out, Harpooner. They just got through, like, watching some uh, Alpha 3 and, like, Melty Blood. And then I sent I sent a CPS HDMI from Cruise, bro. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> so you know what that now, means. You know, if you know what that means. Involved. Cruise involved? Yeah. Oh, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap, yeah. bro. That's <laughs> it. Yo, stream. The highest quality yeah. in the biz. Thanks so much. Stream, That's since, it. stream, since you guys just came from the NYC VF blessing, yo, we need to hear some buttons. We need to press some buttons for NYC VF in the chat right now. That's right. He is in the chat, like watching. NYC this shit. VF is here. He's watching the, the VF action, like always. He's the one that all right. made all that shit possible for for Obama's for Obama stream, son. That's right. Who's the mob father? Who's the man? <laughs> Oh damn, nice. Okay, so we have that neutral throw to finish. Looking really good. Uh, Crazy Drunk looking pretty solid in this first game. His drink count is still a little low, six. But six is pretty good after one round. Uh, he still has action. Now he has action to on with the extension. Once he has that eight drinks, he is brutal. Oh man, he's just playing around with stances now. I think he knows that Aztec doesn't know about the stances. There's Jawan, by the way. Jawan is the most craziest uh, launch, I think, in this game. Minus eight only. It has an extension that is high, so you can go under it, you can duck and punish, you can do a two feet, but it's still that extension does cause a lot of people to stop and wait after the blocking gets on. So all of a sudden, that minus eight really turns into like minus five because people are waiting. So really, it's safer than you ever thought before. Now we got the long combos. Oh boy, here we go. Nice, the low launch, and that's enough. Even though the low launch brought him under 10 drinks, it didn't matter because he was just won the whole the whole game. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, so since you guys are just joining us, guys, like I said, once again, uh, we're doing Vortex Gallery. Uh, yes. Shout out, shout out to the whole crew. Hit up that Matcherino if you have a chance uh, as well. Make sure please, you guys bless the VF turn. Hit up the Matcherino. Hit it up, Let's guys. reward these guys here. They're putting on a good show tonight. Absolutely. And Vortex has been doing some good stuff. I'm sure you guys already know um, a lot oh, about it. Boy. Oh, I got DC2. You got DC2? Fuck. Yeah. So we can't even watch the match. Damn it. Can't Damn watch it. it. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> no. we, tried Damn. To have, we tried to have we fail saves. Action. What happened? We got blessed too oh, hard. Oh, oh wait. What? What? Oh, I think they all got disconnected, so it started again. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. That happens sometimes. Yo, that who, who actually is preferable. That's preferable to what was happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, who won that last one? Nice. Sorry, okay. I just forgot. Uh, it was Crazy Drunk one. Right, cool. So that's fine. The whole thing started again. So it's if, if Crazy Drunk hits two, he win he wins uh, two stars in the top. If Aztec still needs to get three stars in the top. Okay, looking good. Boom. Nice. The low grab gets tech. What do we got? Boom, boom. And we get five drinks for that. Crazy, you're gonna kill it over here. Round two. Ready, go. Nice. He's going for the fun, that fun back turn stuff. Uh, four PP. It's really good. You can actually cancel with the back turn. Oh, nice. He almost got the wall combo. Just misjudged the distance by a little bit. I actually thought it was gonna work too, so I'm not surprised that he went for it. Nice. Here we go. 13, 14, 15 drinks. 15 drinks is looking really grim. Especially with a round lead, it's looking like Aztec is going to have a big problem. All right, here we go. If you could get even a little more. Oh, this is a lot of damage, too. And he gets wall carry. I think at this point, you got to be careful of your legs. Okay, so right after this, watch out for that low launch. It might come. Here we go. Nice. Hmm. Mid, mid. See, he thinks that he's waiting for the low launch. So, in a way, Aztec's defense there, just standing and blocking, was actually pretty good um, because he was not ducking. And uh, Crazy Drunk wanted him to duck real bad. He wanted him to be afraid of that low launch. Uh, I probably would have ducked there and got hit by coming those, uh, some of those mids. But at the same time, you never really want to freeze up in VF. There were a couple of times there where he blocked, uh, especially that little jumping uh, half-circle kick. 
that thing is minus eight, so you could you could push a button right after that. You could take advantage. And the Round fact that Banach, uh, aka Crazy Ready, Drunk, was pushing go. a lot after that, he was playing with the Barre, you actually could have got a counter hit right there. So you always keep in mind when you have advantage. It will help you get out of those situations where you have the life, where you're really significantly behind on life. Oh man, side turns, shenanigans. What do we got? The spacing, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm gonna lay down on the ground. That's some privilege that Shun has. He loses a drink, sure, but look at that. He took no damage from that low kick. That's a situation. Any other character that doesn't move like that puts them on the ground. That low kick would have done damage. All right. Ooh, didn't get a combo, unfortunately. Uh, evades. Here we go. What do we got? Nice. Okay, he gets the full. Uh, he went for, instead of a full wall combo, he went for drinks instead. But I actually agree with that when you have, like, a lower number of drinks. You really want to get up there. If you get that 10, yeah, now look at this. He got 10, he went for forward, it killed. And the reason why that forward definitely connected is because, hey, if I'm if I'm Aztec, I'm afraid of back throw because of that 10 drink. Nice, okay, plus 10 there. And because of the wall, there was no pushback, so you can immediately buff for the grab. Right? Crazy Drunk is going wild here with this. He loved that that mid kick. That actually is enough. That that is actually three. Very good stuff. So now it's going to be Crazy Drunk and Tricky for Grand Finals. Pretty good stuff. We're at the grand finals now, guys. Good stuff. Thanks for sticking with us. Uh, we started a little bit late, 10:30. We're at one. We're at one o'clock now. We were supposed to start at 10, but we did pretty good already. Everybody uh, has been running really well here. I want to say thank you, especially to the players. I right, uh, uh, they they rolled with the punches like crazy. Yeah, absolutely. I want to say thanks to Zero Chan for running at uh and starting and play and also rolling with the punches, starting at time. You know, me and her were talking in the background a lot and you know getting things worked out and she really uh, stepped up put a lot of work into it um, yeah thank you to uh, zero some other yeah there's some other uh there's some other vortex staff as well that i'm noticing in the discord and definitely especially i noticed oh who was giving who was doing a lot of assists uh shinje shinje was doing a lot of assists tonight and i believe mech as well with the bracket so oh yeah thank you guys so much we, we, so uh, so we need this chat to do an assist and carry us to the end of the way guys we have like 800 yeah. people in here so we need you guys to use the matcherino links you already know what it is if you came from obama stream click that page yeah. exclamation point matcherino in the chat use those codes click all the sponsor quests guys they definitely help the tournament tons of free ways for you guys to donate to this event uh, and once again, you know, shout out to Vortex Gallery. You know, everything's going to the players, as usual. Also, this is, this is a custom artwork that's going to be given to the winner. Shout out to Goemon uh, for doing this art. Definitely blew oh, it up. Looks like they're getting getting started right now. They want that art. I actually had been talking to Tricky. Tricky's a homie. We 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 hang out uh, in person here in New York a bunch, uh, and I was talking to him. Uh, before the tournament and he said man that art I really want that's why I wanted to get I want to enter so I want because I wanted the art I love art I want to get the art <laughs> I was like damn okay so oh, guys, guys. If, you're, if you're running your own tournaments and you want to like find a, some good motivation art people like it oh yeah guys so uh, so, so real quick want to go over a couple of the slides before the event is done shout out to Vortex Gallery that's at 956pro.com forward slash Macharino um, shout out to shout out to the Guilty Gear Strive tournament at Vortex Gallery. That's October second through the third. Uh, there's also a Melty Blood exhibition that's going on October first, 8 p.m. Pacific. Check out check out all those players that you guys see right there. And all right. uh, uh, we do have one more slide. Um, okay, uh, they are they're, they're in here now. They, they've been running a they're they're playing round through. Oh, yeah. I can't even see it. Oh, you can. I can't. So, so are you streaming? Uh, no, I didn't have my. I didn't plug my capture card in. Sorry. Oh shit! shit. I didn't even think about it. Shit. <laughs> so, so we're kind of blown up at the moment. 
Oh, um, uh, right now it's one one. It's looking pretty tight. All right. Oh no. So like, so so after this match, like, should we make lobby? Yeah, hold on. Let me grab my card. All right, cool. All right, guys. All right, guys. Anyways, um, just got word that uh, Hitbox Arcade is one of the official sponsors of this event. Make sure to check them out at hitboxarcade.com. Hit their fall restock, pre-order the Smashbox, and uh, pre-order the uh, cross-up, guys. You guys want those optimal inputs? Hitbox Arcade is the place to be. I also just got a slide from, which I'm about to show on stream right now. Thank you, Zero Chan. Yeah, guys. So if you wanna if you wanna order some uh, Hitbox, yeah, I'll, I'll load the slide for you while we figure it out. Yo, yo, it's so crazy how she got blown up during Grand Finals. That's okay, you know. You roll the punches. Anyway, um, trying to load this uh, Hitbox Arcade slide on stream. Yeah, guys. Uh, once again, you want to support Hitbox? They are official sponsor of this event. I just found out just now. Hitboxarcade.com forward slash Vortex Gallery is where you want to be. Make sure make, make sure to check them out. Um, shout out to Hitbox, you know, for their custom made arcade button sticks. And yeah, hitbox.com forward slash Vortex Gallery. More info on that. All right, so our point is busting out his capture card right now. And we're definitely gonna try. We're definitely gonna try to get what we can out of this match. Sorry that we couldn't see it at the moment. Wait for our opponent to get back. Got it up. All right, cool. You should be able to. It's in Discord. I know it's only Discord stream, so it's not gonna be amazing, but you should be able to see it. All right, I will in a sec. Um, oh. oh, I see. Yep, you're live right now, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're up there, baby. Oh, All yeah. right, good stuff. So we're on the octagon stage. Uh, it's. Oh, it looks like uh, Crazy Drunk took the first one. Very good. Uh, Tricky is trying to fight it back here. I should have had this thing plugged in from the start. But hey, it's been pretty good, so I didn't think about it. But here we are. Boom, boom. Nice. Oh, really good. Oh, he missed the punish up, though. But he still got something. That's always important. In VF, yeah, it, it might seem like you got to get optimal punishes every time, and you really should, but if you don't, you can't stress out, right? Like, look look at uh, look at how good put Crazy Junk played, even after that non-optimal punish. Really important stuff. Presence of mind. That That's that's like universal all fighting games are like that, but at the same time, you know, it's very important to know when, to recognize when you're in that situation and to not get stressed. Oh boy, wall pressure. What do we got? Wow, both playing really safe. Not going for a lot of a. Uh... Wow, whoa. Okay, so for anybody who didn't understand why that did so much damage, Tricky landed on the on the ground. Then normally you see people doing a tech roll where they can get up a lot faster, right? If you don't do that tech roll, you expose yourself and you open up um, to getting hit on the ground by certain moves that scrape against the ground. Uh, and it looked like uh, Crazy Drunk read that, that that tech roll was not going to happen. Usually, that's a hard read. You you have to realize that if they uh, if they do tech roll and you go for that setup, uh, you end up losing your advantage. Okay, it looks like we're one game away from a bracket reset here. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, just so you know, your capture card is not feeding out sound, by the way. My capture card, what? Is not feeding sound, by the way. So it's just like. Oh, it's not getting sound. Yeah, you're not going to. Yeah, because it's Discord stream. I don't think it gives you sound. All right. Sorry. Let's see. Yeah. Hopefully it's back. Oh, no. Not back. You're back? All right. Cool. No, cool, no. Cool. Not back, but it's all right. Uh, well, after this, if there's a reset, you definitely will be because. Well, I'll get them to pause it until we know for sure. All right. Here we go. No problem. Nice. Good stuff. In the middle, 
of the stage. This is actually a great stage for a reset, you know? It's the Akira stage. It always makes people feel a little hype. Every Akira stage in every game is always pretty good. Oh, nice. Oh, he goes for the damage instead of the drinks. I definitely agree. One of the things that's very advanced about Shun play, uh, people don't always think about this, but when do you go for drinks? When do you go for damage? Very important. Uh, Crazy Drunk showing that he is not afraid to go for damage and forego drinks. He'd rather win. Wow. Oh, my God. I can't believe he got that. You never see that happen. I forgot that move was even in the game. Okay. Oh, that's throw punishable, but Tricky didn't go for it. Okay. We'll stand still here. Oh, my God. Big damage. That's enough. I can't believe it. Shun is insane. This is, this guy is killing it right now. Crazy Drunk is really murdering the game. I already said when we were talking in, in Losers Finals, I said, you know, Crazy Drunk, I don't I don't feel bad saying this. I feel like he's definitely top five US. Oh, he went for the butt again. <laughs> I don't think he got to get it twice. Uh, he's definitely top five US. I think Tricky is also at top five in that in that level as well. I before this before tonight I would have said oh crazy drunk definitely top eight maybe top five I don't know I feel like I'm a lot more confident putting him in that top five position now. Ah uh, here we go. He has the six drinks he can get it going but tricky is tricky is keeping that drink count pretty low. Eight is pretty bad though. With that Chowan extension, now Chowan is really rough. 10, now he has a good throw game. He only needs to win this one round, too. This is looking really rough. Oh, that was enough. Yep. Big read from Tricky, and it did not work out this time. Oh, and Fighter is Mega Mage. Janet is Owie with a gun. She has the same moves as Owie, except she has a gun. All right, so hopefully you get into this one. Um... What do you say, Art? Are you getting it? What's up? Oh, am I getting the feed? Let me see. Um, Am I getting the feed? No. You're not getting it still? Nope. Damn. All right. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I guess we're still, we got no sound still, but that's okay. It is now, it's a Go! reset. This is the, all the marbles part, and we're taking a bath right off the start. Oh yeah, online baby, Mac knows what I'm talking about. But here we are. So Tricky, okay, Tricky made big adjustments. You can see already, he's playing a lot more aggressively. He does not give a fuck. And that's kind of important. He let, um, he let, uh, Crazy Drunk dictate the pace of the match a lot. And when you're playing against Sun, that's really rough because those drinks count as a whole other layer of momentum as well. Early on, hey, round one, round two, he doesn't have a lot of drinks. That's fine. But if you let him get a lot, round three, round four, round five become hell on you. Right now, Tricky is playing exactly how he needs to. All right, nice back dash there so he can get the, the six drinks. He did the back dash so that he could go into that stance without falling in the water himself. Oh. Are we going to take drinks away? No, we're just going straight damage. We took one drink. Ooh, finishes the string. It's a risk. But because of off axis, he wasn't really able to do anything. Nice, taking the side grab. So side grabs are really easy to break. Uh, but still, it's impressive when you break it anyway, when you're in a bad defensive position. Nice combo. Wow, he went for the green combo too. Green combos is uh, invalid combos in other games. It's where, where they fall on the ground. They could have tech rolled, but they chose not to. So you've got an invalid combo. That's what we call green combo. Playing really good here. Tricky is doing all right. Oh, EMP Sonic All-Stars Racing. Long time watcher. He knows all about that 9K. As we used to call it in 2012, the 9000K. That's uh, that's the tricky special is the I, the nine thousand K. All right, here we go. Nice, babe. Okay. Going 
a strength? Yeah, staggering strength. So there's a third part to that strength, and the fact that Tricky hasn't been pulling it off has been making that string a lot safer than you might think. Because Bannock is waiting to see if the last hit comes out. It means he doesn't buffer, and it means that he's not actually getting the frame advantage that the game will tell you. It'll tell you you're a plus 8. But if you didn't buffer, you're actually really more like plus 5, plus 4. Sometimes you might even be 0. The buffer window in this game is so lenient. But as a result of that, remember, you have to buffer if you want the frame data to be correct. Otherwise, it is not reliable. The frame data is written in stone, but it assumes that you are buffering everything. Yo, th yo right. thank you to Garcia Instant for the $25. We're now over $300 oh, for the let's tournament. Go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. BF. Thanks, Instant. Good shit. Oh, oh, oh. Little standstill in the middle. Oh, that was punishable. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, here we go. Good damage from Tricky. And remember, that drink count is still zero. This is looking really good for Tricky. Oh, uh, he's gonna lose, uh, he's gonna get a couple of drinks, but only four. It's really not that bad. In these early parts of the game, the early stage of the game, first couple of rounds, you can kind of play around with the fact that even if you lose the round, you might still be in an okay spot if Sun doesn't have good drink numbers. Ooh, that on the other hand, you can give him quite a few. That's actually a very good challenging move to throw out there. Oh, and he ended in lay down stance to get four. Easy. Uh oh. Bannock has a ton of drinks. This is looking like his game. Tricky's got to really make it happen. Oh, but he sidesteps to the correct side, so he gets he gets the leg up, and that means that he can get a full combo. Look at this huge damage. Aileen has a lightweight. People always say, oh, well, she's really fast, but she doesn't get good damage. And that's a lie. This character does a lot of damage. Only a couple of hits, and Tricky's able to take that round. Aren't you about ready to go home now? All right. Ooh, nice. And a whiff punish three, three K as well. I like that. Nice to set up into the guard break back turn stance. Goes for an optimal con. Like yeah, he goes for an adjusted combo because of the back turn. Tricky is really well studied. Oh, and the back throw by the wall for an excellent wall throw. Right, baby. All right, let's take a look. Woof. Zero champ putting in a hundred dollars too. By the way, thanks for that. Oh yeah, wow. Punk doc putting in fifty. Big fan also. Yo, B BF always comes through, bro. BF man. Everybody loves it. It's just a great, it's a great experience. Oh, there's that high crush launcher. I brought it up about an hour ago, and here it is. That high crush launcher rearing its ugly head. What a disgusting move from Eileen. All right, let's see. Oh, that's some mid stuff, mid range stuff. Here we go. Boom, 9K. Tricky only needs this one game to win. Oh boy, I'm freaking out. I don't want to disconnect from this one and, and see nothing. Come on, come on, I gotta see this. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, if Tricky wins this one game, he takes the whole thing. Even after the reset. Mm -hmm. Neutral throw, looking good. Drinks are really low for Shun right now, but that's about to change. No, he's going for damage instead. I I, I agree. I I actually really have been thinking about damage over drinks conversation. I'm a Shun secondary, so I, I do think a lot about Shun when I'm playing the game. And I do I think that if you can win if you can take damage over drinks, you almost always should do it. I'm starting to really get to that position myself, and a lot of that is from watching Crazy Drunk play. Uh, nice. Okay, that should be... I think that's actually plus, but it's cool. Oh my god, he got it a second time? He got the butt? He went for that two, three times, and he got it twice. 
Nobody ever goes for that butt. All right, here we go. Ten drinks. Oh, but it does. Oh, it doesn't matter. He took the game. All right, he's still alive. Crazy drunk, still alive, trying to win it. He came from behind. You know, this guy won so many straight games to get here. He, he ran through loser semis. He ran through loser's finals. And he got a bracket reset. He is trying hard. Tricky is one game away, though, crushing that work. And saying, no, no, my hard work is the one that paid off. Now, you see what, what Crazy Drunk did there that's so classy? He took a little micro step forward when he when he uh got that back turn so that that way he can make anything whiff and then do the little double kick. I love that. And I don't see a lot of shunts do that. I actually don't even see Japanese shunts do that for the most part, which is crazy because Japanese shunts usually develop all the tech that uh the Western shunts steal. But Crazy Drunk has been doing a lot of stuff that, you know, I actually think is legit. I think it's real. And I think that uh, people can actually learn from it, even in Japan. I think that specifically is pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's not a wall pressure coming Tricky's way. But hey, he's pretty good at fighting out of the wall pressure. Ooh, oh no, he messed up the punish again. That's the second time he's blocked the sweep and he went for the, the mule kick. And he got something else. It doesn't matter. He's got nine drinks right now. Looking really good for Crazy Drunk. Looking like he can take this game. Just needs to win two rounds at 10 drinks. It looks like he definitely has the ammo to do it. But he can lose those drinks. Those drinks can be taken from him. He doesn't have to use moves to drain his drinks. He can also get drained by certain moves by the enemy. There it is. He just lost. Oh, my God. He lost so many. He lost five already. Tricky switched it up. So, Tricky, I, I was talking about this earlier. I said, oh, Tricky's not getting rid of drinks. He's just doing damage combos. But no, in this case, he noticed. He said, oh, no, no, I can't let him have these tricks. Okay, nice block on the stance. Back throw, that doesn't take any away, but it's good damage. Oh, wall combo. This actually might kill because of the weight. Yeah, this kills. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, but the setup does. So Tricky actually takes it off that setup. And that's Tricky. He is the Vortex Gallery champ right here. Let's go. But great showing to um, Thanos, a.k.a. Drink, crazy Drunk. Played three characters tonight as well. Pretty pretty solid play overall. Uh, Kage, we saw some Kage in pool. We saw some uh, Leife. And then, of course, some Shun. Uh, really want to shout out our top four. The top four of the guys that are getting some of that artwork. So we have Tricky, obviously, in first place. He's getting the artwork. He's getting the big piece. We have Crazy Drunk. We have Aztec. And we have Matt. Those are the top four. They oh, that was it? Beginning to think of that art. Tricky one? Hmm? That's it? Yeah. Oh, shit. No, we're done, huh? Yeah. Anyway, guys. Sorry, Grand Final such a blow up, like, on the, on the capture and the audio. Yeah, but lobby. that's, you know what, it happens sometimes. That's why I usually have this set up here, and I didn't do it tonight because it was just going so well. I was like, oh, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. my card in my bag. And I was like, no, no, I have to go get my card. I was a fool. I should have gotten it right off the bat. It's all good, man. Uh, yeah, yo, th yo, thank you so much for holding it down for a good two hours. Shame, uh, shame I, I just want to bring your attention to uh, some stuff that, that we're going to have later on today. Yes. Yeah. Please oh, I'll show you right stay now. tuned, especially if you came and you wanted to see some VF. There's more VF coming up. Guess what? It's 1:30 in the morning. We got more VF coming later in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we do. So, uh, so I'm gonna show you what's up. So, oh, guys. Yeah. So, we are gonna. So, in the morning, was it eight, eight o'clock? EST. Now we're doing it or what? Eight o'clock. EST. All right, guys, so in a couple of hours, 8 a.m. Eastern, we're going to go straight back to Japan. And what we're doing is, uh, for, first off, before I get to that, let me shout out the sponsor one more time. Shout out to Hitbox, hitboxarcade.com forward slash Vortex Gallery. Make sure you check them out. Also, uh, also guys, uh, Tr uh, Tricky is going to be getting this artwork. 
courtesy of Goimon. Goimon Sama. Hey, thank you so much for that artwork. Also, Vortex Gallery is going to have like a Melty Blood exhibition on October 1st. which is a couple of days from now, so make sure you check that out. 956 Productions on Twitch. So make sure you show them some love. I'm shout out to all the players playing in the exhibition. Also, uh, Guilty Gear, they're going to have a Guilty Gear Strive tournament October 2nd to the 3rd. 512 player cap in North America, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure to check them out on vortexgallery.boy. Also, um, guys, uh, just wanted to bring some attention to this. So, uh, so in the morning, we're going to be right back here with the uh, VF5 Ultimate Showdown. We're having an over 50 tournament. That's right. The VF yep. players are so old that they're having an over 50 tournament. Hosted That's by Tetsuko at Homestead. Tell them more this about is it. It's like the most, the most VF you could get, man. <laughs> the old men, the, the old men memes is very real. I'm talking to you as an old man. I will not tell you my age. And these guys are older than me. I'll tell you right now. Bro, I'm 39. Men, I'm 39. I thought it was old, but nah. <laughs> nah. You think? Yeah, you think, right? So, yeah, you, you're you not even older than most of the VF. Not most, but many of the VF players I know. That's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. This is the thing about VF, man. Everybody's got a kid. Everybody's got, like, two full-time jobs. It's, like, crazy, man. So, that's that's VF. But uh, this is one of the most VF tournaments you could watch, and it's going to be incredible. So, 8 a.m. today, in, uh, it, it, it's only a few short hours, we're going to be doing um, we're gonna be doing this is Japanese over-50 tournament. Fantastic! It's gonna be me and Art doing the doing the stream and the cast as usual. It's gonna be very fun. Tetsuko Yamada, uh, the 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 god T.O. over there. She's been organizing yeah, she's so queen. much stuff. Yeah, she is she is the killer. She's a great shun player as well, and the wife of Homestead Hero of the Living Legends. 